So two things we've noticed so far in Louisiana is that A, the roads are horrendous. <laughs> they are just awful. We have been bouncing everywhere. And they're all like going, I want you to go 55 miles an hour. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And the creeks look like chocolate. They're so brown and still like Willy Wonka creeks. So after a very long day of driving through Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana, we found our way to our harvest host spot. Where we got some pizza, fifth element cheese pizza, and some brews. So cheers to a lovely night. Yes. And uh, good luck for us tomorrow. Yes. Hopefully the roads aren't so bumpy. Yeah, you guys want to see where we're at? You can see our camper from here. So just to explain what Harvest Host is, as you can see on my screen here at the bottom left, Harvest Host is an app that you can download on your phone. In the app, you can see all these little icons and all these companies partner with Harvest Host and they allow campers or RVers to stay on their properties for free overnight and you just pay a yearly fee to Harvest Host. In the video you just saw, we went to Bayou Tech Brewing Company. So what I did is I looked up on the map where we wanted to go around that area, and we knew we only wanted to stop one night. So we found a Harvest Host in that location, and we found Bayou Tech Brewing. We went in, we looked at their photos, you know, that other people posted, and decided, yeah, that looks safe, that looks good, and, and that's where we stayed, and it was a blast. Now it's time to leave Louisiana and head to Texas. So we are here at the Davy Crockett National Forest, and we are camping at Ratcliffe Recreation State Park, and it is gorgeous, just beautiful. We got everything all cleaned up in the camper after our drive. So we're gonna scratch off Mississippi and Louisiana. We went through those states. We already covered. Very nice. After getting all set up, we had to head into town, and the closest town was 30 minutes away, where we did some laundry for the first time. And of course, we forgot the detergent, and we forgot quarters, and the Wi Fi was horrible. We were supposed to use the time to upload our video, and it didn't work. Park is empty, it's a Sunday. We uh, went to do some laundry this morning, came back, and everybody was gone. They packed up their stuff and left. They're all weekend campers. Look how nice and empty it is, you guys. We are now heading down to the amphitheater that they have here. Looks really pretty. So we're taking a nice long walk before it starts raining pretty heavily. Jump in. Ew, don't let her get in that. And there could be a gator. Are there gators in Texas? Oh, this is pretty. Her shirt, everyone says best camp buddy. She's a cutie. It's 
So here is the amphitheater. Really beautiful here. I guess people can go swimming in the lake. Maybe we'll go for a swim. Oh, in my non-existent bathing suit that I have on? Yeah. Just tell me where you'll wear your birthday suit. Yeah, that's true. For your birthday. Oh, I got it. Okay, you guys, the girl got tired. So we are now carrying her and she is loving it. Not even trying to get down. She goes in again. She likes it. <laughs> She's just hanging out. Oh, it looks like she was about to fall asleep. <laughs> a ton last night stormed lightning and it was it seemed like it might be leaking or extra condensation in the bathroom so I put up a tarp who knows if it helped or not oh well
Our time here in Crockett, Texas has ended, but now it's time to move on to Brady, the heart of Texas. As always, thank you for tuning in to Expedition Smiths, and we can't wait to see you on the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll continue to put out a new episode as we travel across this beautiful country of ours.